Welcome to another first time camper video from Keystone RV. Hi everybody, I'm Bart and with me today is Mike. Hello. Hey Bart, sometimes customers ask about the cargo carrying capacity of their units. We get asked, how do I know how much cargo I can carry? Where do I find the answers? And what is considered cargo anyway? Right you are Mike. Let's explain these to those watching with us today. This label specifies maximum capacities for GBWR, GAWR, and the tire capacities. GBWR stands for the maximum permissible weight of the RV when fully loaded. You can find that right here on the federal ID label. What this means is that if you were to run your unit over a scale fully loaded with cargo, water, and LP, it cannot weigh more than the weight listed for that RV. The unloaded vehicle weight is the weight of the RV as built here at the factory. This is when the unit is empty. Cargo carrying capacity is how much weight you can carry, including all your gear, water, LP, and yes, even sewage. It all counts as weight you are carrying. Be sure and become familiar with the tags on your RV. They are located front, off door side, and on the screen door. Hey Bart, what are you doing? Reading the owner's manual. It talks about towing considerations. Let me show you. Look here. It says here that weight distribution is an important factor when loading your RV. Properly distributed cargo results in efficient, trouble-free towing, like evenly loading front to rear, side to side, secure your items that may move in transit, you know, like stuffing your totes in your pass-through, pots and pans, your bedding, all of that. We have a lot of good information in there for this topic. If you're not sure where your manual is hiding, don't worry, you can check it out on the digital version of My Keystone app. Remember, anything you add to your RV is taken away from your cargo carrying capacity. If you add items, it counts and needs to be considered. A good example would be extra solar panels, two or three batteries. These are great add-ons, but they can count against your cargo carrying capacity. You will need to figure them in so you don't put your RV in an overweight situation. That's not all, Mike. Overloading can fatigue, shorten the lifespan of tires, axles, and your leaf springs. We do not need that extra expense. Consider what you're taking with you. Do you really need it? Can I buy it when I get there? To be completely honest, do I really need all this stuff to camp? All this weight has towing costs as well slower to stop, increased risk of tire blowout, and uses more gas per trip. And we always recommend driving within the speed rating of the tire, not the speed limit. The state doesn't know what you're carrying when they post that speed limit sign. So let's just go over a few things that we would find in our kitchen, like a mixer, 30 pounds. A case of water, another 30 pounds. And a gallon of milk, surprisingly, is eight pounds. Some other common items, also air fryer, 14 pounds. Blackstone grill, 66 to 140, depending on the size. A tool bag, average 40 pounds. Electric bike, 40 to 50 pounds. This list alone is well over 200 pounds. Every little thing adds up fast. Some tips. If you buy something, then take something out. Learn to meal prep and buy when you get there. Another aspect of traveling fully loaded is driving slowly over railroad tracks, bumpy roads, and construction zones. These are all things to consider when towing your rig fully loaded. We want everyone to use the best practices for the best results. A few minutes in your owner's manual under the section towing considerations, and the section on sports utility provide great insight for the weight management and loading. We hope this information on loading, storing, and carefully managing your cargo was helpful today. And remember, we want you safe out there and camping better. If you have another idea for us, drop a line below. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button 
and check us out at keystonerv.com. For Mike and I, we will see you out there.